my name is Saucy J. Uh, you may know me from my podcast, Saucy J Unplugged. Uh, I play Amy. I have been playing Amy since the uh, second Reaper, and it has been an absolute pleasure playing her. I love Amy. And the reason I love Amy so much is because I work with the, one of the best directors, OMG Sims. He really works with me with the character. So I'm literally watching her grow with me in The Reaper 3. She's a YouTuber. At that time, I had just started my YouTube channel and I had just started, you know, podcasting. Now I'm into my second year of podcasting. Now she's an interviewer. So I really love that my character is growing. I also like how you're really watching her grow. She could have just been a stereotypical bitch, but she wasn't. We watched her grow and the trauma that she experiences throughout every single film. You really see that shaping the person who she is today. So I really like the character growth from the Reaper 2 to the Reaper 4. If I found out that Amy was dying, I would be a little sad, to be honest with you. I think she still has a little bit more time. I truly see her being your final, final girl, being like, da -da -da, we're gonna get this when she's like old and gray and she has kids and she's like, I'm not dying. I ain't dying without a fight. I thought it was Tyler. Like we did a podcast together and I flat out said it was Tyler because at the time I thought it was Tyler. But that's how good your storytelling is. Uh, Owen G. Sim, who's a director and writer, like it always keeps you on your toes. Like I had no idea that it was Cassie. And the fact that like she was in like Amy's inner circle and she wanted to like kill a bitch. Mm, I never really saw that coming. So I, I really liked that as a surprise. So my favorite part of being in The Reaper is I love playing Amy. She was my first ever acting role that I love so, so, so dearly. What I think I like about the most is working with OMG Sims. He lets me take Amy and lets me form her. And, and, I, and I have a say of kind of like what happens with her character. I also really love that OMG Sims casted Kane, which is Amy's boyfriend in The Reaper. That's my actual fiance. So it was really cool to have that acting experience with him and we could read off lines with each other. It was, it was so much fun. The only thing I wasn't expecting was again to form an amazing friendship with the director, OMG Sims, phenomenal. Like, like he is one of my closest friends. I didn't expect, I kind of expect like a one season and done. And the fact that we're on the Reaper 4, I mean, speaks volumes of how amazing OG, OG Sims is and how he's able to continue to grow the story. Um, very, 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 very excited to see Amy's character and how she is played out in uh, the Reaper 4. But again, another thing I didn't expect is being with so many talented voice actors. Um, I've gotten to know our cast very well. I've been a part of a lot of voice casts. This is probably one of my favorites I've ever been attached to. Definitely K number one, just cause that's my fiance. So very, very much love Kane and Amy and Carter and Tyler and everybody. So. So what I really like about season four is you're having this blend of the original cast coming in and now our characters are older. They're more geared to like what our actual ages are. And, and it's, it's cool to see like I'm no longer playing characters in high school. I, I'm playing characters in their, their 20s and 30s. Um, so that's really cool. I, I, something else you're going to see as well. So like I said, we have a lot of new cast coming in. Um, you're going to really see them grow. You're going to see how they mingle like the OGs and the newbies and kind of like how the story plays out and how the, like, and how the killings kind of happen again. It's really exciting. It's really fast paced. Uh, the editing style has completely changed from when I, where I started with the Reaper 2 to where I is the Reaper 4 today. The trailer that was just released uh, last week is absolutely phenomenal. And if it's going to be such a good series, tune in every time it's out. It's going to be so, so, so good.